Hello guys, good day. How's it going? I'm your boy, Kid Frizz, Mr. Fix-It. Today I'm gonna show you a good way to hang studio foam in your room for uh, sound protection or for having good sound acoustics uh, in your home studio. What I'm using is these things here. Velcro, <clears throat> Velcro sticky bag. So what I'm doing is cutting them off. One side is like the plastic side that sticks to this side. Okay, so I peel the plastic off. That's the plastic there that sticks on the back. You peel that off. Okay, same way for for the other one. Same way for the other one. So I'm gonna peel that off. And I'm gonna turn my phone to the back side. Now, I prefer to put the, uh, I prefer to put the uh, plastic, the plastic piece on first. I mean, it really doesn't matter, but I just prefer to put the, plastic piece so if you ever pull it off then the uh the cotton piece will still be stuck to the wall like that just like that okay now you get your cotton piece right here you stick that on here now what i've learned from trial and error guys is that i tried to be cheap and stingy and only use one for each uh, phone, but when you do that, they could shift and move. So this time I'm putting one in this corner and I'm gonna put one here in this corner. So I'm gonna have to grab another one. And that's the trial and error that I was talking about. See, I put some up here and you can see the little cracks in the middle because I only use one on those. So I'm gonna have to go back in and redo those and use two on each one, two of these Velcros on each one. So we'll do the corner here. Okay, stick this right here in the corner. So use two on, on each one and uh, you shouldn't have a problem with it shifting. You know, when you hang them up, you won't see uh, cracks in between your things like that. So I'm gonna redo those and take away those little cracks you see, cause I only use one. So sometimes you have to learn with trial and error. So now I wanna take it over here and I'm gonna, I'm going to uh, snap it right on the side of that one. snap it at a different angle like this yeah yes like put it up there real good like that then press it down just press it and hold it for a couple of seconds like that okay the other one is here Make sure it's butted up good against that. Yeah, so you don't want no cracks in here. Just like that. And there you have it. That's the best way if you don't want to make holes in your walls and have holes everywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it out. Then I'll be back with you to show you exactly how I look, but that's how you want to do it. It's your boy, Kid Frizz, Mr. Fix It. Okay, guys, I just want to show you this for uh, FYI. Um, I bought these here, the 12 squares. You see, the, the squares are already cut, but for if any reason you can't find these in the store, you can also go with 
these the uh, industrial strength uh, two strips. So they'll be about that long. And what you can do is you just cut them yourself into uh, squares that you need. Uh, you can also get more out of this because you can cut the squares a lot smaller than this. Okay, so one strip it has uh, it has the hard plastic and the uh, the soft cotton. So one strip covers uh, covers the uh, squares that you will find in here. So you can cut these up into small squares yourself, and it comes two two of these would be in one pack. Uh, you might get more use out of the industrial strength, but it's a little bit more work trying to peel that pure plastic off. You'll find it a little bit more challenging, but it works. However, you can go with either one. Okay guys, this is the uh, completed uh, studio phone that I hung up with the uh, Velcro sticky back. So I did three uh, diamond shape uh, phone that is uh, 50 by 50. It's 50 by 50 from, uh, from point to point. From point to point, it's 50 by 50. So I did, I did three. Painted the wall, <coughs> excuse me, painted the walls orange. Then I hung up three studio foam for the acoustic sound inside my uh, podcast room. 50 by 50 from point to point. So that's how it looked. And just FYI guys, when I uh, use the uh, studio phone, just FYI, I, uh, I did it from point to point. So I put one here and then I put one on that side. That way it won't shift like that. It won't, it won't shift or turn on you. So what worked for me is go from point here, from that corner to that corner, corner to corner. So you really don't have to use four unless you just have the time and money to do so. Okay. Now, depending on, depending on how you're gonna turn it against the other ones, see I have it turned at different angles just to give you a nice effect. Depending on how you're gonna turn it, you might have to put it from the opposite corner, that corner to that corner. So you have to be aware, aware of that. Which corner are you gonna use? This corner and this opposite corner or this corner and that corner. That's something you have to be aware of for as how you're gonna turn the uh, phone, okay? So I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Don't forget to uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the bell for more notifications when I post more videos on home projects or whatever I'm doing outside or working on cars. Hit the like button. Thank you for watching.